so i welcome you all to this gazebo plugin tutorial series in this series we'll write gazebo plugins we'll learn how to write this gazebo plugins okay so whenever i talk about gazebo plugin i earlier i used to feel like it is very difficult i used to feel like this person and from here to here i felt it that gazebo plugin is very easy initially when i studied i could not understand how to write this plugin what are things going inside it which function to use which class to use why it is being used all the things all those why when and where question i am going to answer for you that's why i always say that logic building in gazebo is not difficult the difficult part is to understand how when and what function message and class to use okay so we'll go deep inside this and we'll learn every line of code in so much of detail now the one thing that i felt was one thing is this understanding the other thing is that i wasn't having a very good knowledge of c++ 11 that's basically the modern c++ and that was one of the problem which i was not able to understand the gazebo plugins for here what i've assumed that you already know the ROS, gazebo and c++ basics what i've included over here for you is the some videos and some articles that will make you understand better about modern c++ okay so like this there is one article on here you can open this so this is a video on this youtube video on oops oops okay so i'm not saying you to read to view all this video completely but i want you to have at least this knowledge of class inheritance constructor virtual function those are heavily used in gazebo plugins okay so i just want if you already know it just revise this concept because we are heavily going to use this okay so these are the good playlist as well as a playlist on modern c plus please at least watch this video number three that's very good and that's very helpful in gazebo plugin understanding okay like this is there then there is a article on boost so boost is something which is heavily used in gazebo and ROS for uh, binding the functions and for pointers and you know the most of the gazebo pointers are actually defined to boost so that's make it very important so that why you should read this article and this is a very good article on this okay now the next thing is yeah smart pointers also very heavily used in gazebo right now as i said so all the pointers are either unique pointer or smart pointer in gazebo so you must go through this and if you ever get stuck i'm not saying you to go entirely onto this but i'm saying you to if you ever get stuck over here then click come back and use these videos and watch the things and get your concept so so that we can move faster on this plugin and you will have the list out okay now now the next recommendation i will do is you should download the visual studio code and this is a video that i've video link that i've given to you okay which you can download you can learn how to download the visual studio code for uh, editing the codes c++ code and other programming languages okay so why is very helpful because we'll be able to understand some of the function definition just by using some of the features of visual studio as well as it's very become handy to write code on visual studio you can easily understand the error and all this so that's why i want you to have the visual studio so one way to download visual studio is going on ubuntu softwares and going over here and searching visual studio and just opening the first link and you can install this way as well so that will also work now there are this tutorial content and i will be providing you this entire website that i have created for you for this tutorial series okay so this will be there in the description and now these are the contents over here that you can see and don't worry i'm going to add more on this basically the ROS part of it i know most of you want to learn that so more tutorial are coming on this now this is the recommendation that i've made if you wish then you can follow this otherwise see your wish get ready to learn the secret of gazebo plugins and i'm going to make it so easy for you that you are after this you are going to just love the gazebo plugins okay so see you in the next video